Hello and welcome to my video for the uh, regionals in uh, Bremen where I attended for the first time in any like official tournament and also welcome to the face reveal I guess for some people who wasn't there watching the tournament. Hi here I'm on the left side. Hello. <laughs> Not that special to be honest like I was never really like having a problem with a face reveal or anything and this was just never really a normal timing so hey here we go we're on the live stream cool. But yeah, we're just gonna start right into everything here right now. You're gonna see me battling my first opponent here. We, I went on for five rounds, actually six rounds. My first round was a free win because my opponent didn't show up, which is okay for me, like cannot do anything about this. So we went straight into this match, which you didn't see here at this point of time. Usually we were actually not supposed to be on stream here and afterwards I was like nearly the entire time on stream. I didn't I only had one battle in the entire tournament which wasn't on stream which was kind of insane. I guess I just wanted to have my name there or whatever because I guess it's more interesting for a lot of people. Um, happened to though as well when he did his uh, tournament run in Frankfurt. And we just start here in the middle of the game, very good organization. This was not an official stream really, like not from the Pokemon company. I also sped up everything by 1.5 by the way. So it's a little bit faster to watch because there's a lot of gameplay, of course, like I don't really want to make you watch one hour of gameplay. Of course, you can still just watch the VOD. Uh, I can link it in the, in the comments, in the description if I think, like, remember. But um, yeah, here, first match, I got completely hard countered by my opponent, literally perfect hard counter. I lead my Reggie Steel, my opponent has a Mary Gem in the lead. I go into my Swamp as a Sayswap as my um, Sable Eye would be of course my best answer against the Mary Gem. He goes into his Ferrothorn, like I don't know why they are even running Ferrothorn, but my opponent is more a Master League player, like he's done this like several times against me, like he's not really interested in Great League whatsoever, he's just there for fun, so I guess like Ferrothorn is just a niche pick, like it's it can be cool as well, like you saw here me completing, completely getting wrecked by it um, on my Swamp Herd, but yeah, I can't completely hard wall there, like yeah, what, what, what am I supposed to do here? <laughs> like he has literally the perfect alignment there and he has no charm against my Sable Eye. And I lose my first round and that's not only it, like before this round happened, we already tried to battle outside the stream because like of course my first opponent wasn't there. He got a free win uh, completely normal, like we had like I don't know 40, 50 uh, people at the tournament and some already got a free win in the beginning just because otherwise the bracket wouldn't work. So he already got a free one there and this was our both first match here on stream but we tried already prior for more than half an hour to try to initiate one initiate one battle to um, just do our battles because we were not supposed to be on stream and it did, just didn't work. Like there was nothing that really worked in this tournament. This was a common theme sadly about the entire time. Sadly, the premium Bremen, the Bremen Regionals was the most buggy event yet for Pokemon Go, which is kind of sad because this is gonna bite me really, really hard later on, as you're gonna see. Um, well, here I'm just gonna skip a little bit where I build my team. Do you see my team on the left side anyway? He's gonna throw his his team in now as well. You gotta see my Sableye, my Regi Steel, my Araquanet, my Shadow Normal Nine Tails my Shadow Swampert and my Shadow Warrain. And I, I was happy about my team, to be honest. Like, I, I cannot say that my team was bad or anything in this, but like, of course, like the game itself was bad. The one game we, we were one game already on, basically, well, before we went out to stream, and the one game there, I most likely would have won if my Registeel didn't freeze like mid game, which completely then, of course, lost me the game because I just found it out, which is, of course, fine with my opponent. Like, he just plays the game, like, um, there everything I'm gonna say in this video, which gonna be like negative. It's gonna be a lot of things that went like not really how it's supposed to work. Um, not gonna be about the opponents. Not gonna be about like the judges or anything like this. They were all amazing. I have to say, like I had, didn't have a single opponent which was like I don't know like bad to me for whatever reason. Like everyone that I faced in this tournament or like talked to in this tournament were awesome like I had nothing that I could say against any of them like literally like all of you were awesome thanks for like hanging out with us in general like thanks for having making this tournament way more bearable than the game itself made it so like thanks all for this 
And yeah, this opponent especially, like we did like some more side events after this game as well, like later on in the day, which was cool. Like we talked a lot afterwards, like he was such a good, nice guy as well. Like, um, yeah, but yeah, here, second game, we really hard wall my opponent, which is then I guess fair. So we have two RPS games here, one for me, one for him, making it a 1-1 in my first ever matches on stream. And... Yeah, you see already that there's nothing where I can lose. I'm actually going to shield this, which is, I think, a slight misplay. Um, there's going to be one game later on, which I definitely also kind of completely ruin, but I'm going to talk about this later as well. Like, there's a lot of things happening, by the way, in the tournament, which you then saw on stream, and people were like, oh, wow, what is he doing? Why is he doing this? Well, it was a completely different scenario when you were actually there. There were like some stuff where they say, oh, I BM my opponent, so how could I do this? But they were actually talking to each other at the same time with the coaches and they were like, oh, you can BM him, you can BM him, let's do it. Or like, they were like, okay, well, or, like, okay, it's still if I do it. Or like everybody was like, oh, he BMs him, oh, what, what an ego, what an ass. And we were just literally having fun there and not taking everything too serious. But of course, the stream doesn't know this because like they don't know what we talk there. So like this was always kind of a little bit awkward where I, I am not trying to disrespect any of my opponents or whatsoever. You're gonna see what we got, what I mean in this next game as well. Um, well, this was by the way the first team that I used in the match that we had to rematch then later on, as um, this was the team that won me the game as well. Like the first time, like not I would have won me the game if the game would have worked, but it didn't work. Um, but yeah, like I tried to use this again. I I think my opponent might have already predicted this at this point of time and it worked like it still went okay for me as you're gonna see now um but yeah like this was my first matchup i have a pretty awkward lead here but i'm gonna try to catch my move now on my on the war rain which you're gonna see I'm gonna try to catch the move and it didn't work out but it worked out pretty well here because this is one reason why I wanted to have the shadow version of war rain Shadow Wall Rain always wins the two shield scenario. I'm not sure if this is the same for the normal Wall Rain. I think it is as well, but here you can farm down in the two shields. Like, I can just shield everything and just farm all the way down, get a shield here again, and I can realign now the Azos against the Reggie Steel, and I have my Sableye against the Amerirak, which is, of course, amazing. So, yeah, this was then, like, after me losing the lead there. I basically clutched it pretty hard. And one thing that I really realized in this tournament as well is how important it is to keep energy on Pokemons. Like here, you're gonna see what I mean with this. I kept the energy here on the Sableye and I, I think I tried to do similar stuff later on as well. And it really helped me out as I can go for one, um, what's it called, Icicle Spare here, which is gonna put him close to half health and you're gonna see what I'm gonna do here. I am gonna throw the move which is gonna win me the game actually otherwise it might have been a little bit more tricky to win this game but like this it was pretty easy to win the game he's only the Ezo left and i have the reggie steel he knew already that i have the reggie steel in the back because he knew my team from the first match which he didn't see on stream where i played exactly the same team so he knew already it was over here but like he took it also completely fair like literally top tier opponent here like i can't say anything against that He's more a Master League player, and here you're gonna see what he, I mean. When I went here for the Focus Blast, it was what um, Leandro said to me next to me, I think it was Leander. And he, yeah, he was also like, yeah, this game is over. So like this wasn't, of course it was a BM, but it was like talking to everybody and it was not me trying to be an ass or anything like this. Um, just to say this, as this is gonna conclude my first match on the stream, which was pretty nice already. I'm just gonna skip forward to the next one. You're gonna see a cut now. And coming in into the next game, we have Tu Yen here, which um, won also her first games. I don't know if she had two games or only one game, depending on like how she got ranked, but she definitely won one game prior. And this is the second round of it. But yeah, like first round worked really well. Was like, like the, it worked really well on stream. The games on stream usually worked a little bit better. Usually you're gonna see some problems later on as well. Um, towards my team again, I was really happy with my team to be honest. Like I think my team worked really really well. I think my team would have been able to win it all as well. I think my team actually had the potential to do this. The Pokemon, which I'm actually kind of surprised, really let me down. Was a Rekwinet. Arachnid was, in my opinion, the worst Pokemon that I had on my team. 
which is something that I didn't expect whatsoever. But um, here we go. This was, in my opinion, the worst possible, like the worst Pokemon that I had. Of course, um, you, you, you never know. You never know before, but I actually didn't really like it. And I think there are most likely better Pokemon to use. I actually don't think Arachnid is good. But there's also one main reason for this as well. Nearly everybody threw away their Warren and Swampert. Here, we have, of course, you have a Swampert as well. Like here, it's actually pretty decent if you don't align it against the Registeel and the um, Skarmory, but I wasn't really feeling this too much e either, and I know that you see on the opponent's part here, they don't have an answer for the Sableye, me neither really, but um, I know that I can just say swap Sableye anyway against no matter what they want to lead here anyway, so I should be fine. They gonna lead the Reggie Steel, which is of course awkward as we have Araquanet, but I should be okay as long as um, we play out the, Red the Sableye matchup then. And you're gonna see here this matchup, first match coming through, round three already. Um, I start a little bit late here, but it's fine because we actually then realign again, like it's fine. We, they just saw my lead a little bit earlier, which is, didn't really matter, like all, all fine. As we swap into our Sabler, as we lose the lead hard, they go into their Requinet. We have a pretty uh, horrible scenario here in general, like they should really win this, but I don't think they really expected me to run my A9 here. And this changes stuff, and this changes stuff. I'm catching here, like I, I shield the correct move, which really helps me out with the bug boss there. Um, catching that, like in general, shielding the bug boss really helps out. Uh, so we're now gonna be able to get at least another shield from them. And if they shield this, I am in a really good spot, because unless they have Swamp it in the bag, which would make a little bit of sense, I guess, but not really. Um, like, if they have a recommend already, I don't really think that they have Swamp in the back. Like, I was thinking, if they go into a recommend against my Sable Eye, after me having a recommend in the lead, there will be no Swamp in the back. Means I have a shield, one shield advantage now with my nine tails, and nine tails with overheat completely just wrecked everything. And just to play it safe here, I'm just gonna swap out after that charge move there. Thought I would get to the overweight in time, but they I, I I wasn't. I'm gonna swap out here, which seems like kind of like BM, but I, I know that the overweight wouldn't have killed otherwise. And like this, I can just go for the bubble beam and just win this first game against Tu Yen. Um, good game there. But yeah, like this was nice to come back from a horrible lead, and um, Nine Tails putting in a lot of work here as well. Nine Tails was like a really really cool Pokemon. Also, Nine Tails won at the same time in Vancouver, which was really nice. And this is like a weird thing. We had a lot of a lot of problems. We had a lot of problems in this regionals. It took way way longer than expected. There were a lot of games, like nearly every time. I think the, I think the finals actually took like 15 plus games or something because it was like 10 games usual already. But like they had so many so many disputes were in there. Like there was so much going on, which was really really just ruining everything. Like the game was really really broken the entire event. Those were the best games that were still working well. You don't see like most of the ones that were like disputed at the other end. I know for a fact that several people needed more than one hour to finish their matches from just trying to um, like queue up and try to even send the battle request to not being able to attack, starting 10 seconds later than the opponent completely freezing in the middle like the judges had so much to do like it was really really horrible it was really really horrible the main event was completely scuffed there was not a lot that really worked out well there which was really sad like it really frustrated nearly everybody playing there to be honest it really really frustrated most of the people and here i'm going to go for a last second switch going for the 90th lead which gonna make it all way way better as we have the ninth, uh, we have the ninth now in the Arachnid, which is a good matchup for me usually. As you're gonna see something here, I think, which I was only seeing on my screen, which mattered a little bit, but yeah, you're gonna see it in the sim. Um, where I had some frame drops, which kind of lost me CMP later on here, which you're gonna see. Um, I had some frame drops there, I think I lost like one quick move there so, or, already, even though it's like times 1.5, it's not really easy visible, but I saw it like there. And I couldn't get to the over 8 in time. I'm pretty sure I would have been able to get there in time without frame drops, but didn't really matter at all at the end of the day anyway. 
as they are not shielding this and we're gonna be able to go into our sable eye and farm them down this is the thing here sable eye has just only good matchups so having an energy advantage with sable eye basically means we can win big switch advantage against no like everything basically there's nothing where we will lose switch advantage here which means already this game looks really good my I recommend it in the back has no hard answer which is amazing they lag for two turns there like or like one turn there which is kind of annoying which didn't really matter like they could just sneak there anymore which is kind of annoying but yeah didn't matter at the end i'm gonna shield here because if they have a reggie still in the back i need to shield and i'm gonna be able to now win this game pretty easily so so far so good two games in two wins here like i won this uh 2-0 which is kind of cool on stream which um Good game here also to my opponent again. I'm just gonna catch the move. We're also in that defense. I, I saw this at least yet. So I saw a said like, oh yeah, it must be M or whatever. I didn't know the move said. I thought I, I catch something and it didn't matter at this point of time. I knew this as well, but better safe than sorry to be honest. And I'm just gonna try to clean out this game here real quick, which works out pretty well. But yeah, um, so 2 0 already. We had already a lot of lag prior feeling pretty decent coming into the next round the next round my opponent has a team that was a really good for me like a really good against me i mean which you're gonna see soon when we're done with the battle now which we're gonna be soon um yeah like it, it, it looked really good against me yeah I'm, I'm done now i can skip and you see my opponent's team i was really scared of manibus manibus is pretty good against my team unless like of course i have two pokemon that are decent against it but the rest is pretty horrible so i expected manibus to come and i really needed good matchups as well as needle queen which was also a little bit awkward for me to deal with i needed my my warring was basically key in this matchup but also they have like decent answers for warring as well so i was really not happy with it so I had a pretty decent lead here in the beginning already, I think. I think I, the first one was working pretty well. I expected them to maybe bring Minabus lead, so I went for my Reggie Steel. And here we come to the one battle that, like the one um, general matchup, which really annoyed me. Like this one really, really annoyed me. Um, no, not the opponent or whatever, like my opponent couldn't do anything about this anyway. The first two matches worked also pretty okay, but afterwards it was just a shit show, sadly. Um, as they're gonna go in there, I'm just also... Yeah, we're, we're just both gonna go, and we're gonna see that I have the Mandibus against the Registeel, which is amazing for me. They don't really have an answer for, for the Registeel either. They go into their Sableye and I can realign my Pokemon with my... that I can go for the Zapkin and I can go into my Sableye afterwards. I don't have to shield here. And I should be able to farm down the Sableye, which makes it all a little bit easier. But yeah, so far so good. So far so good, everything is fine, and this looks like a pretty simple game there. I have a pretty decent alignment there. I think it's kind of hard counter. I don't think my opponent can really do anything here at this point of time, which worked out pretty well. But I actually, like, I haven't seen those battles yet. I, I don't know what actually happened. There were, like, a lot of times where people... There was something in the second battle where people said I could have disputed, which I didn't do, because I didn't know if this was a game issue or was it a me issue if I, um, how I did something there. But we have to see here. They go for the foul play. Like this one was just like working out normal. I thought actually I would survive this. But I guess I don't. And I can go into my Reggie Steel, going for the Focus Blast, trying to get a shield already. Just so I can now go for some Earthquakes with my Swampert and win this game pretty easily. There's nothing my opponent can do here anymore. We win this game. So good game, first game. After something where I was really scared about the match up worked really well for me very happy with this so far and um everything looks fine i actually might go to one speed for the next game because i really want to see how everything worked out there next game i am actually really not happy with myself to be honest like which you're gonna see soon like i can go for I, I he actually tried to swap there which worked out needy for him as we can go for one hydro can here which doesn't really matter too much and I'm just gonna farm up, I think, one more and then swap. If I'm not. No, I'm just gonna swap immediately because I didn't know how it's energy anymore. Like, it's sometimes tough to count energy if you're in this kind of scenario. And I know, like, he knows already that this is over for him as I can just go for one focus best now and win. 
as I can farm down, and that's always the first good game. But yeah, like of course a very good game there for for me in the first time. I'm happy with this. I had a very way way better matchup there. Like I had a way way better matchup, and um, this was all fine. Nothing too difficult. Um, he said he really wanted to get the Leaky Time because he still need XL candy. That was also kind of funny. Um, as we go into the second game, here I kind of want to uh, make it to like one speed real quick when we are going into it. I don't know the team yet. We, I think it took longer. I was really annoyed in the matchup because I was like, ah, I don't know who you want to run. I, I just went for Sable. I, I say, oh, okay, I went for this Sable Eye, Swampert, and Reti. My opponent went for. Okay, this is kind of not neutral, I think. Let me go for one time speed real quick. We want to see a little bit more. We can skip in here. We have the mirror in the lead, which is fine for me so far. As we both go for the move at the same time, I win CMP, so he, I guess he has a better Sableye than me, which is good for me because I win then the lead, which I guess is good, which I think should work out. And um, at this point, I just can, I can also let this go, but. Yeah, actually let, let us go because I know that I should be able to win this matchup now. I should be able to go for my foul plays before they can go for their foul plays. And if he wants to let it go, he can let it go. Otherwise, he can farm me down with the Azu, um, which is both fine for me. All looks so good f so far. By the way, which is really annoying, it's on 30 FPS, which is so, so annoying. This is because we are running on a Samsung A52, I think. And Samsung A52 limits your frame rate as soon as you are going for a recording. I make a mistake here, to be honest. I should have stayed in longer. I should have stayed in longer and went for the um, Zap Cannon. He was on the stream prior, the, and I thought he was running the Power Punch, to be honest. But I guess I completely misread this. And like, yeah, like uh, I, uh, there was nothing I could do here. I was just like going and let this go because I thought this was a Power Punch, but it was an Ice Punch. And this completely threw me off. If I actually knew it was Ice Punch, I would have shielded this. And I was like, I can I get to the Earthquake now? I clicked on it. I don't know. Let me, let me see again. I think it was my own mistake. I, I know that I had frame drops here from the recording. Also, it was raining, which didn't really help. But I think that was my own mistake. I, I don't think that was a game. I think it was my own mistake. And I threw the game prior. I should have just stayed in longer. I could have just went for the Zap Cannon already. Would have got him low. Would have got him into Hydro Cannon range. Would have had his attack debuffed. And I would have easily won this game. But I threw the game. Like, I threw the game. I put this all on me. There's nothing my opponent did wrong. And there's nothing the game did wrong. I could have thrown the Hydro Cannon as well. Which I don't think really would have mattered either. Because this doesn't KO. And, like, this game is pretty much over now. Because my opponent just farmed me down now um but yeah like this was all on me i definitely could have won this game though like this was a really horrible played by me and also like just because i expected him to have the power punch which completely threw me off guard and next time yeah that's that's kind of awkward of course like if you're on stream like i was on stream the entire time people know your team but next time i should look further onto it and not just uh yeah take the power punch for granted this was totally fine i lost this fair and my my own mistakes which is kind of sad because i think it was a winnable game because the lead matchup was actually fine and i was really annoyed by this but i was totally okay Let, let's move on with it i can put back to um the 1.5 speed i think that's a little bit better two is a little bit too fast and i put my team in immediately because i was like I'm pretty sure that I can win with this again. I used the same team again that I tried just now. And this was my strategy the entire time, which also worked out pretty well. Priority worked out pretty well in my first game. And I just went for the same team again because it's super unlikely that they're gonna run something that is bad for this. Like usually they expect you to change up your teams if you lose. So if you don't change up your teams, you're usually in a big advantage. And it helped me out also like later on in the tournaments pretty, pretty much. And um, I was totally fine with this, going for the same team again. As my, as you see here, my opponent goes for a Chem lead, which I would hard counter. The Sableye lead, which I most likely would be able to, uh, the Sableye say Sa which I most likely would be able to counter pretty easily. And the Mandibus in the back. You saw my team, I have a Reggie Steel for the Mandibus, I have my Swampert for the Sableye, which I should be able to win the matchup anyway. And I have the perfect lead here. We go into the match. Oh no, only my opponent goes into the match. 
Me hard countering him completely, I start 5 seconds later, we stop the match and I would have won this game most likely because I hard countered him. And this is super annoying. Of course, nothing against Domain Bowden, like there's nothing you can do, this is just a game. But me calling it correctly, and now of course he saw my team, like he saw already my lead and I didn't see anything, I didn't know what he led at this point of time, he also didn't say me. Um, he saw what I led, he, I didn't see what he led, he, I only saw that he swapped into the Sableye. Which is a huge advantage for my opponent at this point of time, because they know what I really was running. I have now to bait here that I'm gonna go for a different Pokemon and a different team in general, which I'm gonna do here. I know already at this point of time, I'm just gonna go for the exact same stuff again, because this is what I was doing the entire time already before and worked out pretty well. So I'm just gonna go for the same thing. I just tap here as well on my screen, like basically trying to uh, bait, as you see here, you actually, you actually see me tapping there, baiting there, I still configure my team. As my opponent also decides to go for another one, which looks okay for me so far at least. I don't know what he has in the back now. Okay, I have a pretty decent lead there. Um, say, yeah, this looks actually okay for me. I think this is actually really fine for me. I have my say by lead now. Um, and we go into this. I, I think this is actually gonna really piss me off now. Please, uh, like it actually should, like you see here, nothing works, but now we actually go into it. Uh, Reggie's delete, I think I play this perfectly, don't I? Um, I farm up extra. Okay, never mind. Okay, uh, he, <laughs> I farm up extra. He's going to go for one move. I'm just going to shield. I want to have the energy on it. And I'm just going to try to, now, now I have a move stored there, which is really fine. They go into the Medicham, and this allows me to most likely get a shield back anyway. I have move stored, I have still have my Registeel in the back. This looks all pretty fine still for me. I can still go for one Hydro Cannon here. And the thing here is, I got my shield back already. If I shield here, I only can lose. And if he goes for the Ice Punch Bait, I'm most likely still gonna be able to go for another move there, but he goes for the Psychic, which didn't work out for him, and like it went through there, and like it didn't work, and he goes now for the Psychic, and it did just some random damage, and of course we rematch here. But I had so much energy already on my Sable Eye, I still had basically what I had. I had we had the same Pokemon, I had a lot of energy on my Sable Eye, I would have been able to even farm him down there, and I think I could, I most likely would have won this game. I think I would have won this game definitely from the Pokemon that I had in the back. It would be more 50-50 than the first one where I hard counted my opponent. But this was already looking good for me as well again because I had so much energy on my Sableye. I have my Registeel in the back. He had his Sableye in the back, which Registeel usually wins against. I think I would have been able to do a lot of stuff there. It's definitely, I think it looked more on my side, at least from what I I imagined the game would have played out at the end. Could also still went either way, depending on how it went. But I think with the, uh, the amount of energy I had left there, I could have definitely worked around a lot of stuff there. So I think I would have been fine. But so we have to go into the fifth game of the best of three. And yeah, this was super annoying because now he knows my team again. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use exactly the same team again. Ah, uh, does this work out well? I forgot. Okay, he he uses also the same team, I think. But I think this time it worked out pretty differently. Let me see. Let me see, let me see how, how it works out this time around. Um, we have the lead here, and now I'm going to try to catch the move, I think. And I was like, okay, I'm going to be in a good spot here. I'm going to catch the move. I'm going to catch the Zap Cannon onto the Swamp Bird, which worked out pretty well for me. I actually don't know how to lose this game, to be honest. I have to see. They go into the Mage Jam again. I think I connect for one turn or whatever, but it was fine. I can go for the Hydro Cannon. They can let it go. And I can align my Sable Eye against them now. I think I, I actually don't know how I can lose this game, but I have to see. What am I doing now? We have the same team, both of us. He goes for the move. I couldn't go for my move, but it's okay. I think it was also kind of like there. I can go for the ice uh, for the foul play. So far, so good for me. How do I lose this? And I can farm down here. It looks really good for me as well. It looks basically better than the first time. I'm gonna go for the foul play. I try to get a shield from my opponent at this point of time. They do not shield. Okay, that's kind of unfortunate for me. Oh, they got... Wait, they got extra energy there. Okay, let me... 
Tete. I throw the move. One, two, three. They got three free turns there. Cool. Didn't see this in my gameplay, of course. But I was stuck there for three turns. I don't know if this... I think this actually mattered a lot. I'm not sure. But this is annoying now. I, like, uh, this is the first time watching this for me as well. I don't know. I, I know I got screwed by the game prior already, but this was already awkward. Three turns there is like 15 energy, and that's kind of important as well. We're gonna get them low, they're gonna swap out into their own Sabler. It can go into my Parachi uh, Steel. Okay. I'm gonna go for the shield here, of course, first, because I know that I need the debuff him here, and I was at this point 50 50. He got I can shield, of course. I can go for the Zap Cannon. And the Zap Cannon gonna come through. I can just skip this animation. He got a shield, of course. He goes for his move. I'm gonna go for my Zap Cannon. I don't think there's anything too crazy going on there. We're just gonna go for Zap Cannon and Zap Cannon. And he's gonna swap out now, I think. Yeah, he's gonna swap out now. I don't know how much energy he had here. Okay, I should I needed to swap there. Okay, my swap was perfect. There was nothing that was really bad there. I can go for my foul play or win CMP. But I would have been able to farm down if he didn't get the three extra moves in there. And him, me farming him down there I think would have won me the game. Definitely. He can get to the move there. Like he played this perfectly by the way. He played this perfectly. Like he did a great job here. I don't want to say like my opponent didn't deserve it or anything like this. I think I desync there as well, didn't I? I'm not sure. Like I think he started before me hitting my Reggie Steel. I don't know. Let me let me go back a little bit. It's like it's like it's you don't see stuff like this really on Um if you're actually playing there by the way. Like it's so difficult to see. They go in there, I can swap out there, it's fine, we can go for the move. They can go for the move and KO me. I really want to see real quick. It just interests me because like I, I, I you see me dying way slower there. I think he got like one turn there, and the one turn wins in the game there as we have the same Peter. I think this was the D thing which people saw in the chat as well. Which I didn't see at this point of time because I didn't see a screen. And I had a one turn move and it it's basically invisible for me. And this is really sad. Because this is something that decides if you go through or not. And this is how I lose the uh, semi-finals of this tournament. Basically getting screwed two times by the game before and then basically losing, I don't know, four turns in the middle of charge moves or whatever from that, which, yeah, was really annoying. But we have one more game to go, which was on stream. There was one in between which you were not able to see because of... Um, you were not able to see because of... Uh, it wasn't just streamed against someone else who I beat then 2-1, which was a really, really close, but nine tails already came through. While I go now up against GLP Go, we were really just trolling at this point of time. We were both kind of annoyed at the game and how it all worked out. We like, both of us really didn't want to, um, yeah, <laughs> he named his entire team RPS, it's hilarious. Um, we were really not um, happy with all of this stuff, so... Um, we were just throwing around. This is like the loser's semi-final or something like this. Um, I, I'm already top 8 with this, which is kind of decent for me. Like for, for me before, I didn't do a, a single test match or anything like this. I was just going there for fun and I didn't expect him to go to top 8. But losing the thing before, having all the like before, having all the delay before, we're already more than two hours over the time that they wanted to have, which is really annoying. Like the, it was supposed to end at 2 p.m. around this time for group A where I was in. We are here, I think, at 4 p.m because just the game was too broken that they couldn't do the badges, which is insane. So we're gonna go here into the final um, match. And I have to say here, I was not really in the mood anymore to really play too much. I was just trolling around. I also said this there. I didn't build the best teams that I could have built in my opinion. And this is gonna bite me, but like, uh, at this point of time, if you're in the loser's bracket at there at that point, I would have been, yeah, 
Like I had to win like so many more matches than anybody else to even have a chance to the finals and yeah, I don't really think this would have happened anyway, so I was fine with just trolling here, watch just uh, like not trolling here, but like not doing taking ages to build my teams and reconsidering everything and yeah, I still did my best there. Like I'm not gonna say like oh yeah, I I, I tried to lose anything in this. I still tried my best and um yeah, we see uh, the Licky Tang, which is a big problem for my team, as you're gonna see in general. Like, Licky Tang is actually one of my, the biggest problems for my team as well, uh, next to Pelipper. Both of them are really good against me, but Licky Tang is definitely the worst thing. I only have the Reggie still for this. I could have expected it in the beginning that he has the Licky Tang, so like, it was kind of a misplay by me. But I can still get a shield here from him if he. If I can shield here, I can get a shield back with the foul play, which I'm going for. Because uh, nine tails without shields is pretty decent, to be honest. And yeah, like this is gonna be like a very close game. And I have really nothing to say against this match at all. Like this is, by the way, like uh, as you already guessed, this is the last medal, so I'm gonna lose in general here as well. Um, I, I have nothing, no problem with this one. Like there was nothing where I was like, okay, um, this was unfair. There was like. A, bugs in the game or anything this this was just both of us basically playing at a similar um level like their games i think i lagged as well never mind which i wait did i actually lag let me see real quick oh yes okay never mind um, I elect there for three turns, which allowed my opponent to get to a body slam here, which he was not able to get otherwise. Um, so cool, uh, very, very, very nice there. Um, and this makes my Arachnid way lower, which I think also gonna lose me the game. This is, it just hurts. This is just so bad. Ah. Uh. Okay, yeah, y you see how much pain it is. I have to say here, yeah, like, the event itself, the side events were amazing for this event because you had to play on your own phone, your own connection, and it worked all perfectly. Like, literally, there was nothing that was, I don't think there was a single time where people, like, had to replay or anything on this and side events. Side events were perfect, literally perfect. And the main event was so horrible. I nearly come back here, actually, from baiting and getting to the correct move, but... Yeah, I think with the body slam I might have survived this. I don't know how much actually this thing does. Trevenant with this, uh, Trevenant with this, Arachronet, Arachronet, Trevenant does 40%. I was at like, you see, I was at around 24% and this, I think a uh, body slam would have put me into a range where I should have won this game as well, which I actually didn't know until now. Yes, I would have won this game as well. That's so, so nice. Wow, amazing. Thanks. That's all so good. Um, we're going to go into the next game. I'm going to go in with my Saber Eye Double Week 2 Fighting Team. Well, he's going to go into Trevenant. Um, Licky Tang again. I was expecting a Licky Tang. And also in the back, I guess. Um, oh, I think it was also. Uh, it was also, and I was I knew that I wanted to have the Trevenant, uh, the the what's it called, the Licky Tang against my um, Reggie, so I went for this, and I should be able to get it onto my Reggies now. Oh, he goes to exchange to the Zoomerl. That's also fine for me because a Zoomerl gets hard walled. A Zoomerl does run Hydro Pump in this matter, so I should be able to have a pretty easy win there with the Zap Cannon. I should be able to do some nice damage there. With a zap gun coming through and I just hard wall him. I'm just gonna skip forward here because we're already that far into the video. I just went for the focus burst to save some energy. I go into my Sable Eye to snipe him again because I know that my Pokemon in the back, which is gonna be the War Rain also is a nice play. They go into the Licky Tang. I can go for the return and I can align my Rochi Let's Go and I can align my I shouldn't have one for the return, by the way. I should have went for two foul plays. I can align my Reggie still against him, and I still have my Warren in the back, which is gonna win me the game here. And this is all fine. You're gonna see me just farm it down there. There's nothing that he can do really. I, I'm just gonna sh uh, shield this and I can just earthquake the Liggy Tang at the end, which is fine. And this wins me the game, but this is lag. Cool, thanks. 
uh, I can go for the earthquake that swings me like he had no chance there anymore. So this was a 1-1. But the first one, I actually would have won if the game would have worked. That's kind of sad. That's actually really kind of sad. And yeah, we go into the last game here real quick. Um, where I actually called his lead correctly and knew that he would do this. Uh, but I even went for the wrong Pokemon in the back. If I went for the Swamp in the back, which I should have went, I would have easily won this game already. Um, but I went for the Aragonet, which has a bad matchup for the Ninetales. I actually didn't expect the Ninetales in the back from my opponent. I think Ninetales was not the best Pokemon against my team, but he still ran it. It's actually fine against my team. Like, it actually only does have to fear the Swampert, so it does make sense. We have some lag here again. I think I might have lost one turn there, but I'm not sure. Um, he got two in. Nah, I, I think it's fine. I think I got denied, but it's uh, otherwise it's fine. Which means I have to shield here and he can realign. And this game is now over as he can um, have his mage and against my energy steal. And me not having the swamp there, this was my own decision. Where I say I was laziest team building, to be honest. This was not the smartest idea on my part anyway. Um, I could have played this better, so I'm just going to lose this match now, which yeah, happens. But um, I actually didn't know that the first match I was also able to win if the game would have just worked and he didn't get the free three free licks which allowed him to get to the move at the end so i actually got screwed out of both of the matches i had which is really annoying but of course I, I mean i didn't see it on my opponents but like i just wanted to say of course it could happen for both sides but i didn't really see it so yeah i don't know it's 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 really annoying it's really sad that i went out like this for both times where not where i couldn't do anything anyway I could have disputed it, but the thing is, like, unlike the other regionals which were well organized, the the judges next to you only can see your own phone screen, and unless like it's an insane lag that you, they see on your screen, they couldn't do anything. Like you were not able to see, like I cannot say even the judges did a poor job or anything. This they were not able to see this. Like how are they supposed to see that the, he got free moves in because there were no one sitting next to him. Like, they only saw my part and they, they didn't see, like, the small amount of lick damage that they did there. Like, there's literally no problem with this. It was just bad organized. And if I get the debuff here, by the way, I would still win this game. And I didn't, so I lose this game. Literally, barely, as you're gonna see later on. With, like, 1 HP, if I got the debuff there, I would've won this game easily. And, yeah, this is how we go down. This is how we end this match. Um, this is how all everything ends here. Sadly, like literally, the game was super unplayable. Like, if you like, I still had a lot of fun with side events with the people meeting there, and everything like this. Um, but the game itself, it was horrible. Like, honestly, this is gonna be it for this video. It was already way too long. If you're thinking about going to those tournaments, go to those that are actually from play Pokemon and not like from outside, like people there, because it was horrible experience for the main games i cannot say anything else side events were fine when you played on your own uh phones i think it was the wi-fi which was the issue there the wi-fi was horrible but yeah that's gonna be it for this video thanks for watching see you next video have a great rest of your day and very sad that uh yeah the game kind of lost me this tournament